Hi, this is Sage of the Stage, and today I'm going to do a reaction to Tosha Presky and the song called Zaidi Zaidi. Now, before I get into it, I have a couple of things to say about Tosh. First of all, he's one of the greatest singers I have ever listened to. And I'm not just saying that. He used to sing in a lot of different genres. And in fact, he sang in multiple languages, in Macedonian, in Croatian, in English, Italian, and God knows how many more. The sad thing about this is that he tragically passed away when he was only 26. He died in a car accident and the whole region, the whole Balkan was just in tears. I remember hearing the news for the first time, I was still in my primary school and I will be completely honest, at that point I didn't really know much about Tosha. I knew he was a singer, I knew a couple of songs, I really liked those couple of songs, but only after the whole accident I really started to listen to him and man, I was missing out. His voice is just insanely good. He has all the right frequencies, his voice color is just the warmest and I mean he could sing the recipes for some Balkan cooking and it would sound amazing. Now why am I doing this video? First of all I want to say that I'm a Croat. So if there are people from uh, Macedonia, Croatia, Serbia watching this I just wanted to get that out of the way. The reason that I'm doing this video is I wanted to share the brilliance of Tosha's voice and just his performance in general with a wider audience because I have this channel where I usually analyze singers, react to singing performances from all around the world and I really think that Tosha deserves to be a highlight among all of these great singers because I really think that he was one of the top singers in the world and if he didn't tragically pass away the way he did I'm sure he would be more popular than Ed Sheeran or Shawn Mendes or any of them especially because he recorded that album in English and he was just about to conquer the whole world with his voice but you know that just happened and it's been almost 13 years since that tragic day but it still feels like it was just yesterday that's how much impact his voice and his music had on the generation and not just one generation a whole span of generations because my dad really liked him I liked him my younger brother liked him that's just the power of his voice now I wouldn't be wrong if I reacted to any of his songs but I chose the song Zaidi Zaidi because it's kind of a traditional song and it just shows his singing abilities really good but if you enjoyed this video I will make sure to do a couple of more where I maybe analyze some of his songs in English or some that he translated to creation whichever you like but for now let's just enjoy the song and you will hear exactly why he's one of the best he just said, play it. <laughs> but you can see how relaxed he is on the stage. You know, he's just walking around like he is in his home. <laughs> nice guitar part. So the whole arrangement here, I think it's guitar, these strings, pad strings, and his voice. Tosh, Tosh. Just listen to his voice control. And that break in his voice. And the way he switches to his head voice very quickly there. I mean, what can I say after that? You've heard everything. And that's just maybe, I would say, I don't know, 30% of his voice. Not even that much. Uh, he can sing everything, trust me. If you didn't know already about him, just go and listen to him. He has some amazing songs and there's something for everybody. Rock, pop, like this kind of folk thing and, uh, you know, just anything. Even classical music. He sang opera, he sang Conte Partiro. You can find anything you want. It's just amazing how much he did while being so young. I mean, 26 years. That's almost how old I am. I really find it sad that he died so tragically because I'm sure he could have done so much more and I'm sure if it didn't end like that that everybody and I mean everybody would know exactly who he is. I'm sure of it.
But did you notice those trills he does? Perfect control, not a single flat note. He's just a master singer. Even the guitar solo is so good, just tasteful. You know, not too much. A little bit of those drum fills. The vibrato. Just perfect. It just makes me more and more sad. Again with that switch. That's my favorite part. Just perfect, man. And the song is kind of, you know... <laughs> The song is kind of arranged in this way, at least this version. A solo. It could be a guitar solo or a solo in some native in instruments, then singing, then a solo again, then singing, and I think it will repeat in that manner a couple of times. I think the song has three main verses. It doesn't have a real chorus, but it just has three verses. The song is more about the lyrics. And when it comes to lyrics, the song is called Zaidi Zaidi, which would basically mean the setting of sun, you know, when the sun sets. It's not the sunset in a way that it happened already, but it's just like plead for the sun to set. And the song kind of describes uh, the things that happen in nature, like the setting of sun, the darkness that falls upon the earth. In one part, he describes the leaves, he describes the forest. I don't speak Macedonian, but it has a lot of similar words to creation. And if I understood correctly, uh, basically the meaning of the song is kind of the circle of life, but more in the way in nature. So the setting of sun, the rising of moon, you know, that kind of circle. At the end of the song, the singer is singing about the forest and the leaves as if it is his sister. And he's singing, your youth will come back, meaning it will circle around again. The leaves will fall, but they will grow back again. Your youth will come again, but mine will pass. It will never return. And that makes the song even more sad knowing how he tragically passed away. So I think this song really represents kind of a part of his life. That's why we're listening to it today. And you can notice how nobody in the crowd is speaking. Everybody's just listening to him very carefully. Nobody wants to miss a thing. And that's the power that he had. <laughs> and the communication with the audience. <laughs> Even the way he looks at the camera. Going with a little bit of more strength in his vocals here. You know, more power. Man, such a smooth voice. Sister, Sestro. Man, Tosha, why are you so good? <laughs> I'm jealous. Again, sestro, sistro, sister. <laughs> Now comes that part that I was talking about. Mlados, my youth. Oh. 
Again, sister, forest sister. My youth will not return. There will just never be another singer like Tosh, and I'm sure of that. There will be great singers. There will be a lot of singers that are inspired by him. But he just had this way of communicating with the crowd. He just had a way of making every single word, every single breath so important. And you can notice that in this song. He didn't overdo anything. His every trill was perfect. He was always on pitch. Those long notes at the end. The way he let a little bit of that fry in his voice. It's almost like a breaking of his voice, just showing the vulnerability. It was just, oh, it was just so emotional. But that long note at the end, we just have to listen to that one more time because that's completely crazy. Mladost, youth. Goosebumps. Just my youth will not return. Why is this so correct? It's almost scary how much he felt this song, not knowing what would happen to him in the future. It's so scary, but this song is so beautiful. This is kind of those traditional songs in Balkan, and a lot of singers did their version of this song, but this one is just, it's just full of emotions. Now, the interesting thing is that for the last year, I've been doing a lot of these reactions, and somewhere while doing those reactions, we've noticed that some parts of the world really have some great singers that are just over the top brilliant. I think a lot of that has to do with the way their native language is musical. Philippines are one of those places. Philippines just have some crazy good singers, amazing singers. But I think Macedonia is also one of those places. Because whenever I've listened to these singing shows, the singers that come from Macedonia are always the ones that slay the competition, are just so amazing. And I think a lot of it has to do with Macedonian language being so musical and people just being so positive and social. I think that makes them unique as people, but also as musicians as well. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, like it, share with your friends, consider subscribing and hit that bell to get notified about my next videos. We're almost at 100k subscribers and it would mean the world to me if you joined us on that ride. If you want to know more about me and what I do on the channel, there will be a couple of links in the description for you. So go check them out and you can just scroll to my channel and I'm sure you will find something that you like. Anyway, what can I say? I enjoy having you here. You look wonderful and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.